Storm surge covered Fort Myers Beach when Hurricane Ian hit last year. And nearly a year later, Hurricane Ian hit Fort Myers Beach. The only thing more stirring than these images are the stories the survivors tell again about a year out. Action News Jack's First Alert Chief Meteorologist Mike Burrish reports. The Robertsons live just blocks from the Gulf of Mexico. Shocking. Yeah, really hard to believe. The storm surge was no match for homes within sight of the beach. Everything just was toppled on top of each other. Thick mud. The water line um, is like right there. I'm just about six feet. The damage in Fort Myers ranges from destroyed to like the Robertson's house here. Or on the outside, it looks great. But hey, let's go inside. It's a completely different story. The water in here was probably up to my shoulder pretty much. So we lost all of our, a, a lot. On the outside, there was quite literally just about every kind of debris one could imagine. The pontoon, we can walk outside, okay. pontoon was wedged between my house and my neighbor's house. The motor was stuck through her window and the tunes were stuck in my stucco. Up the street and closer to the beach, Ian destroyed some homes and left very little behind. Everything was just horror. I mean... I can't, I can't even explain it. Susan Haynes is still trying to come to terms with the catastrophe. So you got here, and what was it like? Heartbreaking. My house was gone. Everything was just piled in rubble. This palm tree, well, it's significant to Susan. It was really the only thing left that stood near or around her house. Her house was wiped away, and now she lives in this camper, and she waters this palm tree every day. Susan spends her time trying to find what few belongings she can in what used to be her yard. So that's why I'm over there raking, being silly. But uh, yeah. Kind of like an archaeologist. Yeah, I'm doing the dig. I found a, I don't, you know, a dollar piece out of my collection. So I, I know it was mine. I just found a penny today, which is weird because I had hundreds and hundreds of penny. I collect just because I collect stuff. And the old saying, things can be replaced. Well, it doesn't do much to console Susan. My CDs with the kids, you know, because I used to videotape them. Little kids. Yeah, growing they're up, little. they're old now. I mean, and it's like, oh, you can replace things. It's like, no, you can't replace that. You know, Not all the that. soccer games, they're, they're cheerleading, they're Girl Scouts. I was a Girl Scout leader. I was, you know, a school mom. And I, I did all that stuff with the kids growing up, and all that stuff is gone. Susan's camper is home for now, but she does plan to rebuild and plans to start new collections of pictures, coins, and other trinkets. It's all a part of the healing process. Well, when severe weather strikes, preparation makes all the difference. That's why the First Alert weather team is preparing for the storm. Our hurricane season special airs tonight at 7 on CBS 47 and Fox 30.